Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. I promised that I would do a comparison of these two guns. These are the Air Arms S510 XS's. What's the difference? Okay guys, so this is the S510 XS, but this guy's a classic beauty. And then I have the Air Arms S510 XS. Yes, I know, I've already got that one, right? This one is the ultimate sporter. Both of them are 22 cal, both of them are regulated, both of them have, have a max fill pressure of 250 bar, they have the same fill port, they have the external pressure gauge, a 288cc air tank, both get 55 shots per fill, that is on high power. They both have an external power setting um, adjuster on it and it is right here and on the other side it shows you positive, negative, which allows you to know whether you're going to high power or low power. Five different power settings. They both are 10 shot repeaters. They have the beautiful, sweet side lever action that is so smooth. The manual safety is the same. Both of their triggers are less than a pound of trigger pull. Cocking lever and trigger, super, super sweet. They use the same exact mag. They have a shrouded and rifled Lothar Walther barrel. They both have the 11 millimeter dovetail rail. Basically guys, the guts in both of these are exactly the same. Hence S510 XS on both of them. So what's different? Obviously by looking at them, and we know looks aren't always what matters, but in this case, being that they're the same exact gun on the inside, they have the same exact guts basically, putting off the same exact power, same trigger, same all of that. Let's take a look at what's different about these on the outside. So I mean, as far as shooting differences with the Air Arms S510, XS, I almost said it wrong again. They're both like super, super sweet. You can go from a backyard plinker on low power, there we go. getting over 100 shots, close to 200 shots on the lowest yeah. setting. That is flipping awesome. 50 yards, paintball, paintball. Oh, yeah. Or you can be an ultimate hunter and getting about 55 shots on high power put smack in the crap out of some small game. And I was absolutely satisfied and pleased to find out that it shot them beautifully. So I might have myself another unpicky pellet gun. So this one is obviously a Woodstock. Now the Ultimate Sporter, I wasn't sure exactly what it was when I first got it, but I did find out it's also a Woodstock. It's just coated with a black soft touch coating that is very grippy, as I told you guys before. And that, I don't know if it's a word, I don't really care, I'm using it. It's very grippy, which makes for a beautiful gun in the field. Because guys, the weather doesn't always cooperate, and sometimes, our feet don't either. We find ourselves flat on the ground with our gun in hand and having one that you can hold on to, that is always nice when you're out hunting. Now this one is a little bit lighter than this one. Um, I believe this one's under eight pounds and this one's a little over eight pounds. And this one is a little bit shorter like by less than an inch, the Ultimate Sporter is longer. There's a few differences, but it really, guys, what, what's so cool about this is 
you guys can actually choose which one works best for you. If you're gonna go out in the field, um, get the Ultimate Sporter. The Ultimate Sporter has swivel studs so you can mount a sling. This one does not. So no, not sling mountable. You can install your own swivel studs. I've done it before with one of my Winchesters, actually both of my Winchesters. So you can install your own swivel studs, but the stock on this is so pretty. I don't know that I'd wanna even mess with that. This one already comes with swivel studs and it also has the place for a utility rail under the belly so you guys can add a light, a bipod, whichever you'd like to do. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. Oh, I'm almost forgetting something super, super important. So this one does have a raised cheek piece and a rubber butt plate but it's stationary. There's no changing it. There's no customizing it for yourself. The Ultimate Sporter has an adjustable cheek piece as well as an adjustable butt pad so that you can get the perfect length of pull for you. And another thing to say about these Air Arms guns is the contour of the gun. I don't know if you guys have ever had the experience of just big, bulky, um, uncomfortable guns that just don't fit to your body when you shoot them or hold them. The contour of these guns is absolutely perfect, perfectly fit to the human body, the hand, the shoulder. I mean, it really, really is perfectly fit. The thumb, even the Ultimate Sporter has this thumb um, indentation on the very back of it to place your thumb while you're shooting. This one doesn't exactly have an indentation, but it does sit perfectly there. The contour of these guns are actually absolutely perfect for the human body. I really don't know if there's anything else to say. Like I said, guys, the guts are the exact same. It's the outside that is really different. I mean, it really, Air Arms has put the same gun in different stocks and different styles so you guys could get exactly what you want. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button to stay informed. For more air gun reviews, backyard shooting, hunting footage, and just plain air gun fun, don't forget to stop by our other channels as well. That's it for today, guys. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. Y'all don't just have a good day, have an awesome one. See ya. Well, Air Arms, S510 XS, I think you found your soulmate. <laughs> Those shot beautifully again.